Okay, we're rolling. Ikemen Vampire. Ijin Tachi to Koi no Yuaku. Oh my god! I haven't heard that in like forever! Since ninth grade. <laughs> anyway, hi everyone. Today we're playing a romance game. <laughs> we're playing a dating simulator about vampire boys. Let's jump into this. <laughs> oh my god, I never thought I would play it ever again. Oh? ゆるされないことをする覚悟お前にあるのかよ。ああ、ドンピッシュ、ウィッシュ、ウィッシュ、ウィッシュ、ウィッシュ、ウィッシュ、ウィッシュ、ウィッシュ、ウィッシュ、
I knew it. This earring belongs to you. Earring? What earring? This game is unrealistic! Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, when did I lose it? At birth, probably. <laughs> I touched my ears. One of my studs was missing. What's a stud? <laughs> Weird, okay. I believe it was when that patron bumped into you. I happened to spot it as it fell. I was looking for the chance to return it to you. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you very much. Oh, see? <laughs> my bow was instinctual. When I looked back up, I caught his eyes. The color of spun gold. I'd never seen anything like them. You know, me either. It's a shame there is no mirror here to help you put it back on. What are you gonna do? I'm sure there is a restroom nearby. Yeah, I'm sure there is. Shall I help you to restore it to its proper place? That way you won't lose it again. How do you, how are you so sure? Okay, I had <laughs> I had accepted the intimate offer before I realized what I was doing. Yeah, so intimate, oh my god. It wasn't just his eyes. Had his old world noble manner enchanted me? It's a question? Of course it did, girl, come on. If you would hold still, mademoiselle. The gentleman brushed my hair back with fingers that could have been belonged to one of these graceful sculptures around me. How did I read that that fast? <laughs> I know we're in Paris, but this is too amorous not to be coming from a stranger. I told it. Oh god. <laughs> this is a horror game! Crap! <laughs> okay, I did not expect that. Oh my god. Uh, what where what I was saying, I don't remember. That's a lovely fragrance. <laughs> He's smelling me. <laughs> Thank you, I got that perfume here in Paris. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Oh, but I wasn't referring to your perfume. Okay. Okay. His voice was soft and rich, yet I couldn't... <laughs> oh my god. His voice was soft and rich, yet I couldn't place his accent. It was like a melange of a hundred different lands. What's a melange? There, I believe your earring is secured. Roger, Roger, is earring secured? <laughs> We have secured the earring. I repeat, the earring is secured. Anyway, the gentleman stepped away with a perfectly natural smile. Whatever spell I imagined myself to be under was broken. Oh, oh. My rouge earring is certain to behave itself now. Thank you. That's a weird way to say it, but okay. Not at all. It all thanks to the earring that it was granted the good fortune to meeting you. Oh god, that is flirty. Bon voyage. <laughs> the gentleman left me, heading down the gallery towards the Mona Lisa, I assume. Everyone is going to Mona Lisa. Like, literally, it's the biggest thing at the Louvre. I was completely swept away by his charm. <sighs> Charming. His tailored three-piece suit was modern, but he wore it like a turned-off-the-century prince. Or a vampire from a gothic romance novel. I can't believe I just bought that. <laughs> no way! I wonder why you think that. I wonder. Fending off further fanciful notions, I checked my cell phone. It's been an hour and a half? Where did the time go? I guess I should rethink in my article. Oh. Uh, you spend like an hour and a half just by this second largest painting? Can't relate, sorry. I should at least see the Mona Lisa while I'm here. That can be my last stop. That's a good last stop. I hurried down the same corridor the gentleman had taken. The door, it's this... Is this some kind of exhibit? The wood was so old and intricately carved, it could have been a work of art itself. I don't think it was on the map. What's behind it? Maybe a staff room? A staff room behind such an intricate door, come on. But there were no signs, no stanches quartering it off. And it stood partly open. I could see through the gap. There were cloaks, vases, and paintings inside. It could be a new exhibit, or an old one. Hmm. The hallway smelled of time forgotten. Ooh, that's a good way to describe it. Oh god. My hand was already on the door handle. I'll just see what's in here. Maybe even write about a hidden treasures in the Louvre? I'm so sorry for my- Oh, it's opened! Ooh! Interesting, okay. Unlike the rest of the musea, this hallway was narrow, barely wide enough for two people. Mm -hmm. The exhibit had no labels, no descriptions of any kind. Weird. I think I've wandered into a storage area, 
get out. <laughs> but instead of turning around, I found myself drawn further in. Why? It was like I was in a dream. My feet were moving without me, walking towards the light at the end of the long, long hallway. Okay. Is that an exit? Is that a... <laughs> Is that the exit? <laughs> I began to run, running just so I could get out of this place. A force took hold of me before I reached the light. I gasped, fought, and broke free. Interesting. Oh! <laughs> the light... The light flackered. The light flared, enveloping everything. I squeezed my eyes shut. It didn't help. I kept them shut tight until the light returned to normal. When I opened them... Where am I? Yeah, where are you? It was a different hallway. Impossible! These hallways can't be connected. But they had to be, don't they? Yeah, they do, they do. Bedroom doors, bedroom doors? How do you know it's bedroom doors? Bedroom doors on one side, windows on the other. It looked like a private mansion. Get out, <laughs> like, get out now, come on. <laughs> it's bright because of the candeliers, but strangely it feels like night. Well, there are windows, look at them. I pushed aside a floor length crimson curtain. Oh God, that's pretty. Innumerable stars flickered the midnight blue sky, like paint flecks on a canvas. A portrait of laughing crescent moon. Oh, it's a very good way to describe it. What the heck? How can it be night? What time is it? I pulled out my cell phone. 2.20 p.m. Exactly. Oof. Oof. I, f I feel the tension. Just oof. It c that can't be. I checked my cell phone again. 2.21. Then the window. Clouds passed over the moon. Time travel? Just saying. There's an explanation for this. There has to be. My head was spinning. I took a deep breath to calm myself. It helped. A little. I retraced my steps. That's it. That's a good way to think about. Every time you're lost somewhere, just go back to the left. Just keep following in the maze. You always gotta follow the left. But I guess here you just turn around because it's a hallway. But when I turned around, here we go. Everything was white. My world was gone. I thought my head was spinning before. What's going on? A rush of air. Someone has behind me. What the heck? Okay. It was a shadow. It grabbed... Oh god. It grabbed me by the arm and enveloped me like a dark embrace. Let go! I fought the shadow's hold, but nothing I did could budge it. Fingers slid down my neck. Okay. Pushed my hair aside and stopped at my throat. Let me have a drink. Vampire? Vampire alert? I think it's a vampire alert. <laughs> okay, stop! I was back in the hallway. Alone. Was that a... What was that? What was that all about? Standing exactly where I'd been a second ago. What? Was any of this real? Just a walking dream. That's weird. Is that foreshadowing? I feel like that's foreshadowing. My pulse was racing. I wanted out of this place. Yeah, <laughs> back to the museum, back to the hotel, back to Japan. That's great. I would love to visit Japan. The door! Turning around, I saw to my relief the same door I entered in the Louvre. I'm so sorry for my pronunciation. <laughs> oh, thank God! I placed my hand upon the cold hand and pulled. Nothing. I pushed. Nothing. Uh, you're in real trouble. Come on, open! I put my shoulder onto it. Nothing. No matter what I did, it wouldn't move. Oh my. What are you doing here? That was some... Mm. Who's there? Oh god, are you gonna end it here? Woo! Okay, that was fun! That was great! We better run. Don't let me... Don't let go of my hand. Okay, that was prologue chapter one. I think we're gonna stop here for the test video. I already have 20 minutes in. Uh, and we're gonna pick it back up tomorrow, maybe even till the end. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, please follow me. I mean, subscribe. I am posting every week or maybe even twice a week. We'll see how it goes. Thank you so much for watching this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.